Good evening, everyone. Brought to you by the Red Shore. There's an 08 to 14 STI. There's going to be the rear subframe brace mount, which is this guy right here. It ties in to the subframe. These are 19 millimeter bolts. In here, you're gonna have 19 millimeter bolts. You're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket. Half inch impact with a 19 millimeter socket. You're also gonna need a 19 millimeter wrench. So you wanna get these off first that are 19. They're torqued to like over 100 pounds, 100 foot pounds. Take both those bolts out, which is here. And here. So you need a half inch impact, unless you want to use a breaker bar. Up to you on what you want to do. These two middle ones are 19 millimeter. They got a nut and a washer. And I seize everything because if you have to take it out eventually, then you'll be regretting it if you didn't and I seize it. So I'm cheating. I don't have anything on really. I had to redo my whole car. The whole Subaru has been redone basically with bushings. Anyways, if you're going through the same thing I am took your sub frame out and everything else off it would be awesome to do this add these braces there's 19 millimeter here you're gonna need a 19 millimeter short socket here with an extension the ratchet's gonna go through here where your lower control arm is at so you have to take that off if you don't have it off on this side, I don't have it on yet, so you just take the 19 millimeter socket, put it through here, the short one, with an extension, your torque wrench, put your 19 millimeter wrench through here. I torqued mine down to 50 foot pounds because that's what the book says for what it calls for, so. But the subframe bolts that are here and here, those are torqued to 107. Oh, funny guy, throw hands. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> but from what I learned from putting it on, I do not have. The sway bar links in or nothing like that or the sway bar in so I don't know what your setup is so you might have to do more work than I have to just to put this in if you already have yours installed I found it easier to get this pushed in and then get these a little bit snug And then tighten up the subframe bolts. Now the video is brought to you by Suicide Silence. My bad breakdown. Uh, yeah, so you torque the middle ones to 50 pounds, and I believe these were 107. Use anti-seize the on them because if you ever have to take it out, then you don't want to be drilling it out and putting new bolts in. I use new bolts for the subframes, new bolts here. But this is basically what it's going to look like. Super simplified video. I ended up welding over all this. It was rusted. And like, I don't want it to rust, so that's why it's half blue, half dirty. 
Why are we on this stuff? You want to wear a face shield? You got to have some really good uh, undercoating. I undercoated mine in blue. Yeah, that's never season there. It protects it, so. Yeah, so that's how you do the rear subframe brace. I got the one from Soul Function. They put the sticker upside down. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna take it off and flip it, so. But it seems pretty sturdy. I got the white line suspension polyurethane bushings for here. They got gold inserts. If you have the parent inserts, it'll be red versus black. Um, if you want a video on that, I can do that too because I have a video of that. But yeah, this is the brace. Just the subframe right here. Those are torqued to 107. These ones are torqued to 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Then your subframe bolt, 107. I can check to make sure. But your lower control arm bolts will gonna be 19 millimeter to get them out. So that is correct. You're gonna have your subframe bolts port to 107. I'm filming this on my iPod because I don't have a phone. Or, so this is gonna work. <laughs> 